welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure and i'm like thumping ain't been right this table ain't right the table ain't right to all but look <laughs> some people are uncomfortable when it comes to your evolution you make your evolution makes them uncomfortable like you got some people out here really taking your life decisions personal. Like it got anything to do with them. Like it affects them in any way. And even if it does, like it's them that has to do it. Like it's their experience. It's your journey. You make some people uncomfortable. Your evolution makes some people uncomfortable. You got some people out here saying that you changed. Like you were supposed to stay a butterfly forever. It really makes some people uncomfortable. I'm gonna tell you why though. Let me tell you why. It makes some people uncomfortable because they're stagnant. They're stagnant within them with within their lives. So when they see you out here moving and jigging, when they see you out here making moves, <laughs> it makes them uncomfortable because it's a mirror. It's a mirror for them showing them the possibilities of what they can be doing. That they can do what it is that they want to do too, but it shows them that their uh, their fears it exposes their darkness it exposes their demons it exposes their shadow self and it makes them very uncomfortable some people don't even want to call you no more some people don't even want to talk to you anymore they don't want to be around you anymore because you make them so uncomfortable because every time you talk to them it seems like you're a different person it seems as if you are constantly growing it seems as if you are constantly evolving and you are you are. It seems as if you done learned something new again. It seems as if you doing something different again. Like you always doing something different. Your growth makes them uncomfortable. Your evolution makes some people very uncomfortable. It makes them very uncomfortable because they want to grow too. They want to change too, but it's hard. It's a challenge. It requires for them to sometimes be still sometimes be in isolation sometimes do things different sometimes switch it up and a lot of people are stuck in this repetitive uh repetitiveness that it's very uncomfortable to do anything different it's very scary people see you out here facing your fears it's very scary and because you're doing that it makes them very uncomfortable it makes them uncomfortable they're scared for you they're scared of your outcome. They scared that something could happen to you. It's not even them doing it and they're so afraid. Just the thought of it makes them afraid. The thought of it makes them afraid. Your evolution makes people uncomfortable because a lot of these people, they haven't lived out their dreams and their goals. They haven't changed much. They're stuck in their ways. They're the same person they was 20 years ago, five years ago, two years ago, 10 years ago. And it's like every time that they speak with you, every time they talk to you, it's something different in you. They they notice the growth. They notice the change. They notice how you can one day be petty and the next day be a bigger person. <laughs> they notice that. They notice how you're constantly challenging yourself. They notice how you're constantly doing stuff like... They notice how when you say you're going to do something, you end up doing it. Your evolution and your growth make some people uncomfortable. You got some people out here taking the decisions that you make very personal. They're taking it personal, not knowing that you're doing what's best for you as everyone should. Because if you don't have anything for yourself, then you don't have anything for the outside world. But majority of the world are doing the opposite way. And this is why it's a lot of stress and depression on this world. Like a lot of people are living for the world. They're living for uh, their children. They're living for their spouses. They're living for their families. They're living for their job. And they're not taking that time to, to focus on them. To figure out what it is that they want, what they like, what they desire, what they love, what they enjoy. And because they see you doing that, some people see you doing that, it makes them uncomfortable. Because no one else is doing it. No one else is doing it. 
it makes them uncomfortable because they have to like when they're in your presence you're still being you so when when people on the outside world is looking they feel like you're being judged so because they're with you they're being judged as well because of the title that they have uh, the relationship that they have with you they feel like they're being judged based off of your actions this is why you got some people they'll talk about you they only gonna tell stuff to a certain extent some people they'll talk about anybody business but yours which is a good thing for you <laughs> but they don't really like to tell your business that much because they're like way ashamed they're like way ashamed <laughs> They're ashamed. It makes them uncomfortable. Just how comfortable that you are within your skin. Like, just how comfortable you are with yourself. Just how comfortable you are with making the decisions that you make. Out here, in the world, in society, although they're different. Although they're different than what a lot of people would agree with. Your growth. Your spirituality. Your presence. Make people uncomfortable. It's your presence alone. It's that light within you alone. It makes people very uncomfortable. People are very uncomfortable with the way that you move because you do you unapologetically. Like, you be doing you unapologetically. It's like, a lot of people, like, they may look at you as, like, careless. Like, you, you couldn't really care. You can't, couldn't really love. Not knowing that it's the opposite. Like, you've learned so much. You're so vi uh, bright and vibrant. Like, you're so um, intelligent. You're so intelligent. Like, you know that you do have to love yourself first. You do have to live for you. That's love. But when you're doing stuff for other people, you've learned that that's, like, people pleasing. And you don't want to be that person anymore. It makes people uncomfortable because you're not pleasing them. You're not doing things on their terms anymore. Maybe you once have, but you're not doing things. You're not living life like that anymore. It makes people uncomfortable because you changed in that way. You changed in that way. You had to go through some things. You grew through some things. You had to wake up. Like You had to realize that that's not how you want to live your life this lifetime. That you're not going to just be out here doing stuff that makes you uncomfortable to make people feel uh, comfortable. You make people very uncomfortable because you don't dim your light. You don't dim your light for others. And that may be something that you have to work on. You may be still playing around on the fence in that. But you don't have to dim your light just, you know, to make others feel comfortable. You don't have to dim your light just so they um, can feel good about themselves. Like, you don't have to downplay your situations because the right people, they're going to be happy. They're going to be happy about it. They're going to be happy about your situation. They're going to be inspired. They're going to be happy for you. The wrong people, the people who you make feel uncomfortable, they're going to change the subject. They're going to hate on it. They're going to tell you why it's wrong. They're going to tell you why you shouldn't be doing it. You make people very uncomfortable because of decisions, of the decisions that you make for your life, your life, yourself. You doing it for you. <laughs> you make people uncomfortable. It's the thought of it. It's the thought of even telling someone else. It makes, it's uncomfortable. So they really bring you up. They really bring you up in that way. Because the type of stuff that they're gonna say when they say what what has he's what have he been up to, what have she been up to? It's uncomfortable. Oh, they still in that relationship? Oh, it's uncomfortable. Cause a lot of people they look at you as perfect. That's not the way that you feel about yourself. You know you're human. You know you're human. You know who you are, you know what you be doing, you know the type of mistakes that you make and the type of lessons that you have to learn. But when people see you, it makes them very uncomfortable. They're looking at you as God, as you are. <laughs> but they're looking at you as something that they aren't, not knowing that we are all one. That they uh, withhold the embodiment of God within them as well. But people, people see you as superior. 
they see you as superior, so it really makes them uncomfortable. It makes them uncomfortable. We're not talking about the ones who's, who's uh, inspired. We're talking about the ones who are uncomfortable because of who you are, because of who you chose to be. Because a lot of people, they don't choose who they want to be. They let society choose who, um, who they should be and how they should act and how they should move and who they should talk to and how they supposed to um, respond within their relationships and respond to the world and move within the world. And you're total opposite of that. You're total opposite of that. You make some people uncomfortable. You got some people uncomfortable, okay? Ain't nothing you did, you ain't did it on purpose. You just being you. Just by being you, you got some people uncomfortable. So if this video resonate, if it hit different, let me know how so. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit the subscribe button. That is all I have for this video. Stay spiritually you, stay spiritually attuned, and I will see y'all on the next one. Peace. Peace.